All right. Hello and welcome, everyone. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. I am super excited today. We're going to cover a lot, actually, and I think Peter's going to be a little bit off the chain today because he is uh, definitely riled up for today's session, and we're going to be really talking about manifestation and how do you create the life you really want to bring forward, even if you don't have the confidence right now, or even if you're like, you know, saying to yourself, I haven't been able to earn any income you know, the truth is for a lot of folks, when I look into their fields, I look into what they're doing and their belief system, it might even be a little different than mine in that they may believe it's not even possible for them. They believe like it, the odds are so great. The odds are so insurmountable that it's just not possible. I don't want you to believe that. I do not want you to believe that. I want you to know that they are shortcuts. They are tricks. They are tips and they are energetic pathways that make things easier in your life to obtain. Imagine this, the whole world of spell casting and energetics and uh, energetic shortcuts all comes from an understanding of how certain principles in the universe work. And unfortunately to most of us, we are just, just not taught that as we grow up. We're going to learn some shortcuts to actually manifest with quantum technology, but we're also going to talk about energetic protection as well in a time that could get very wild and rocky so get ready peter is with us and also go ahead and grab yourself a cup of water glass of water we're going to do a water blessing to open up the call and uh as many of you know peter shank is a spiritual visionary he left a successful career as a computer programmer to become um really his powerful self uh the modern day mystic and one of the things he was doing at the time was working for a bank as a programmer and his desire though really was to be at the forefront of quantum physics in this emerging new age. And so one of the things that he started plugging into was how do we bridge the gap between what we know is happening in quantum science and the consciousness that humanity is holding? In other words, how do we shortcut, how do we fast track people so they can become free and we can evolve beyond where we are? Well, from that, the modern day mystic was born and he created softwares and many other types of development tools to allow people to move and remove the frequency patterns that have been holding them back from things like health, happiness, and even financial freedom. And in addition to that, he's also created many energetic software programs to help people move through these energies without even trying. Now, as many of you know, he, as I said, started in the financial space, and he had a turning point in his own spiritual awakening where he realized his mission, his intelligence and genius, was here to make life better for other people. And he was inspired by the work of Dr. Peter, uh, Dr. Mishira Omoto, who wrote the book Messages in the Water. And these mathematical and energetic principles really began to open up a doorway to something he discovered. It was actually a mathematical integer that he calls source energy. This became the foundation for a whole new way of harnessing reality so that we can focus our intention to create what we want. And today, he has a huge desire to bring this more and more out into the world. And he has an unending source of ideas, technologies, and awarenesses that are coming into him. And as we look at 2021 right around the corner, will we have calm? Will we have chaos? Will we have manifestation of the life of our dreams? Or will we not? Well, these are questions for Peter, and we're going to help you to manifest what you truly want today. So think about what you'd really like to achieve. Go ahead, press star two on your phone, because I want to hear uh, from you if you're able to dial in, or if you want to just write in what's your biggest intention, do that. We're going to take callers. One person wrote in, this is uh, Clara, says, I literally feel like I am Aladdin with a magic lamp. I got the wishing spear device, and after activating her, <laughs> I immediately felt a very powerful energy in my palms. I literally forgot my long list. I just connected to this beautiful energy, this beautiful girl for a while. And when I could come back to my reality, I made my wishes. And today, two of my wishes came true. Another person uh, wrote in and said, I had a magical, energetic connection. It was like a transponder of my thoughts, energy, and desires. Another person wrote in, I asked for a check of $500 to spend on my trip, and I got it. Uh, this person is Mary. Mary shares that. I wanted to express how much I love the wishing spear and the HFA. I feel so protected and peaceful, and my wishes have come true. She said, I was so excited to get a check for $500 to spend on my trip, and 
I found that my HFA Mini started tarnishing right away after an argument with my husband. It was literally a shiny one minute and then tarnished the next. So we're going to learn how these devices will tarnish when they're protecting your energy field. And as I shared, that may be very important in the coming days. So let's welcome Peter back to you all through evolution. Peter, welcome back, my friend. There he is. Thank you. Thank you. Well, yeah, like I said, we're, uh, we're on fire today. We're definitely ready to rock it. But, um, you know, in, in the pre-show, we were kind of talking about the water blessing. Yeah. And what I want to, I, I want to do a water blessing now. So everyone just go ahead and grab a glass of water, bottled water. And I want to set the precedence for manifesting. Okay. I've never done this before. Most of the water blessings we do are to set the precedence for the show. But today we're going to supercharge everyone's water um, with the precedence of manifesting. And it's going to blow open a lot of the doors that uh, people are feeling that are closing on them or have already closed on them. Um, we're going to just blow it all open right now in about two seconds. So I'd like everyone to take out that glass of water, put it in front of you. Raise your left hand over it. Left hand is always for receiving. <clears throat> Spread your fingers about three inches and then just allow that energy to flow through your hand into the water. Sometimes it's a straight up bolt of lightning, uh, very forceful energy. Sometimes it's gentle. Sometimes your hand will heat up. Sometimes you get little pin pricklies. Any movement, it's already underway. Once you start to feel it, put your attention on the water, energy that is in physical form and non-physical form will do anything for you as long as you acknowledge its existence. And the highest form of acknowledgement is repeating these eight magical words out loud. I honor the space in which you exist. In a few seconds, you're going to start to feel that energy flow increase through your hand into the water. Again, this is setting the precedence to blow open the doors to allow you to manifest things that you want in your life easily and effectively. Go ahead and drink as much of the water as you want. Notice the taste and the texture. And notice where it's moving in your body energetically. Don't say your stomach, folks. <laughs> Energetically, where is it moving? Probably right about now you start to feel your fingertips starting to arc energy between them. Same with your toes. I'm starting to feel it to just fill you up. That's real magic. That's how it begins. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you know, I feel this kind of going all the way out to my heart and just all around me. So mm -hmm. very interesting. Very interesting. I want to focus in today about the shortcuts to manifesting because we're getting a lot of questions coming in from folks about things they want to receive and manifest in 2021. And uh, your work is all about that, right? It's about making this more powerful, but also easier. Tell me about that. What makes manifesting perhaps easier? So, you know, that's a great question. So when you first start down this path, a lot of people's inclinations are they want to meet somebody in the physical, an archangel, a ascended master. And it's just not possible the human form, the human consciousness in this three-dimensional reality that we use five senses to navigate would never be able to sustain the vibration level if they had done that to you, if they showed up in front of you. It would shut you down, literally. So the way they work typically is through experiences that they deliver to you, right? So for every action you put out in the universe... There's a reaction. 
um, there's there's certain groups of people in the world that offer lip service, right? They're good people, but they don't really create any true change. They just they take information that's been around for thousands of years and they repackage it and they put it together in something pretty and give it a new agey spin and out the door it goes. But if you create action, okay, by promoting change, by spreading love and light, the universe takes notice of you, okay? Mm -hmm. And now, once their full attention is on you, they they deliver bits of the story to you, okay? So in my experience, you know, I've gone through many, 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 many learning curves and have proven myself by, you know, creating action, therefore creating the reaction, which is positive karma, uh, more brilliant ideas, you know, uh, more breadcrumbs that lead you through the doors to deeper understandings of how things actually work. And manifesting has been, you know, um, something that I have been promoting for, you know, almost 15 years since the advent of um Aquaware first came out. And as I grow, as I expand, as I learn and understand things on a much deeper level, I can then take that knowledge and apply it in products. Mm. And I can simplify, uh, you know, how um, manifesting actually works. So, you know, one of the products in, in the understanding at the time, and it's still valid today, was, you know, the, 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 the traditional way that people have been taught to manifest since time immemorial is to think about something in your head that you like, you release it, the universe comes by, picks it up, brings it upstream in your current timeline and starts putting together these energetic pathways to bring it into fruition at a time and a place that makes perfect sense. But what the texts don't tell you is that if you have doubt or worry or anything else along the path, the thought form gets destroyed. So what did I do? I was given access to take the Achilles heel out of manifesting in the form of software. And yep. I allowed people to consciously direct uh, and impress the light frequencies of their manifestation in the water, and you drink the water. Um, it comes out of the body on light rays, negating the human factor altogether. And it, it takes it up in your upstream, and you know, typically within three days, whatever you desire will come into fruition. So that was that was a learning curve, right? That yeah. I had to be handheld through many many things for it to finally click. The carrot's always in front of you, but only when it's time to be revealed do you truly see it. So then, you know, we then uh, zero point technology started. I had a huge learning curve for years around zero point technology and that eventually made it to the Terra resonators. Now the Terra resonator line was never geared for manifesting. It was always designed to raise the vibration of something you put on it. And only in the 11th hour was I shown how to manifest on it. By knowing what you want, you write it, you command it in the bold Sharpie on some ancient parchment paper, exactly what you want, and then you fold it up and you, you know, you put it on there and typically within three, four days that would come into fruition. <clears throat> In in all of that learning curve, you know, the simplest ideas were always to manifest something small, like mm. a matchstick or a pin <laughs> or a, a needle or a blue thimble, uh, some thimble. And 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 you know, at, you 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 have to learn to crawl before you walk, walk before you run, run before you jump, right? And <clears throat> as you build confidence up so does your power to manifest. So that was the old school of thought, right? Then I, because the Terra Resonator line was successful, because uh, the source software was successful and other things that I have created like Orion, okay? The HFA Orion made from pure copper and silver was, it was a, a beautiful creation that would bring your most powerful affirmations into fruition automatically. All you mm. had to do was carry it around in your pocket, activate it, and things would just start happening. So it was another evolution of the, my understanding. And when I understand something, I can then create from that understanding. But with knowledge comes discernment and responsibility. And you're not given brilliant plans for software, for Terra Resonators, for Orion, unless you have earned that respect through 
hard work and diligence, but here's the trick, right? Here's the catch. The work is always fun. I never work. Mm -hmm. I have fun. I love what I do. When you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. So as we've moved through those understandings of the zero point and, and, and all of that, the nature of how this works is you're refining your technique. You're refining your knowledge. And as you do that, you make things simpler. So what was born in, in April last year was the wishing sphere. Okay. And the wishing sphere was uber popular because it was really simple. It was beautiful. We had, you know, Moldavite. We had uh, uncut rubies. We had this beautiful 60 millimeter sphere um, that had the, the flower of life engraved in it. Never before seen in, 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 you know, lab grown quartz crystal birth for one direction to help you manifest. And when you put the ensemble together, it just works so easily. You would just activate it and then you start wishing. But again, the learning curve never stopped. Literally within hours of releasing it, someone said, I had better, um, wishes because I wished for someone else first. And then, boom, it was like, oh, my God, there's the carrot. But it came from somewhere else, as it always does. So everything changed. As soon as people started wishing for others and then started wishing for themselves, things started to heat up and really materialize. So what happened was we were running out of wishing spheres, and I, I placed another order for the, the, the spheres themselves, and I got I got the spheres, but they were the wrong size. And I was like, what am I supposed to do with these? I can't use them. I'll send them back. They're like, no, keep them. You'll use them. And I was like, yeah. okay. And then, you know, they're, they're sitting in the warehouse, and they're always catching my eye when I walk in. And then at the time and the place for the great learning to begin again, it hit me out of nowhere. You're going to create the Wishing Sphere Mini. And the, the designs came within an hour. And, you know, it, we refined it again in a new design smaller, lighter weight, beautiful box, uh, more, much more affordable than, than the one that we had originally debuted. And so this is how the game is always played. You create an action through discipline, through learning. And then the reaction that comes back to you is always the positive karma and all the good stuff that comes with it, but also the knowledge. Mm. The knowledge is never accessible until you have proven yourself to spreading more love and light in the world through that action. I like that. And yeah, I've got, I've got both. And I want to talk about this because I mean, I actually find that many, it to me feels a little bit more focused. It's almost uh, kind of, I call it like the laser. <laughs> it seems like it cuts through <laughs> uh, the stuff a lot faster that could hold you back. I don't know if it's some of the sharper edges and the way the symbols sort of interact and the way the gemstones are placed, but it definitely feels like, you know, one is kind of like a, like a, like a big beam. And this is sort of like a very focused, skinny, narrow laser. But the thing about it is those narrow lasers like that, you know, they can cut through anything. And uh, that's kind of what I feel about it. And, you know, when people are thinking about this and, and wondering, what is one thing that this does to speed up manifestation? And maybe, you know, if you're not, if you don't have one of these or you're wondering about it, maybe this is something you can also keep in your intention as you sort of try to manifest on your own. But what would you say the, the mini does to speed up manifestation? The mini at the time was a cut above the second one, for a number of different reasons. Again, Mm. I am constantly updating the product lines as I understand things more, as I simplify them, as I refine them, as we change some things in a new product that's coming out. There's there's more understanding on how the product works. There's more love that goes into it. Not that there wasn't love that went into the first one because there was a ton of love. But it's more refined. It's more definition. Okay? So the first one sat on a circular pedestal, right? Yep. I remember that. The Moldavite went underneath. It plopped it in, and and off it went. But the the Mini has a radical new design to it. Yes, it's still circular at the base, but now it sits on four pedestals, okay, 
allowing more energy to flow underneath where the Moldavite chamber is, and the rubies are not placed on the outside of the sphere anymore, okay? They're actually placed almost perpendicular to the edges of the sphere. The Moldavite is always underneath, but there's four almost inverted diamonds where you put the the rubies now. So the rubies are closer to the Moldavite. The rubies are directly underneath the walls of the sphere almost, and all of that you know, is, 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 is tighter, right? So energetically, things are working closer together, which means it can definitely feel like it's cutting like a laser more. Mm, okay. <laughs> so I wasn't crazy. Well, let's take some questions. We're going to open up to, uh, some guidance that people may need and some help that they may want. I also want to talk really quick about keeping your energy kind of pure and, um, almost protected, but I really think pure from just the thrusts or the bolts of, of negativity around. When you think about keeping your energy pure, I know you've developed the whole line to do this. What's your number one thing that you do to keep your frequency as high as possible? The gym. <laughs> I mean, I go every day for an hour. Yeah, yeah. And what it does for me is I don't care about looking like I'm 25, but what it does for me is it aligns my body, mind, and spirit um, that's my safe zone. That's my that's my zen. And when I walk out of there, I am in complete alignment and ready to rock the day with whatever yeah. it brings. It's kind of like drinking coffee in the morning. I have to drink my coffee in the morning just to wake <laughs> up. You know? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> well, let me ask you. Do you wear your HFA when you go to the gym? I do. I never take it off. <laughs> always on. Yeah. Because it's always on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's great. That's great. And I love that. I agree with you on that one, man. Definitely makes a difference. So yeah, get out. You know, it's a great free tip for everybody. Get out, do some form of physical activity. If anything, just to get out of your head and just into the feeling and flow of your body definitely helps balance things out. You you have more uh, resilience as well physically. All right, I'm going to get some questions. We've got a lot of them coming in. What is your biggest question for Wonderful, Peter. And also keep sending in your intentions. We're going to do a process today as well. It's going to be big. We've got uh, somebody in Madison, Wisconsin, uh, Fox Grover, perhaps, uh, Kay, at 608 Area Code. Uh, who do we have and how can we help you? My name is Karen, and I was just wondering about what you said earlier about one of the one of the testimonies that said that, that the wishing sphere tarnished. So it actually killed him. Is that what it was? I don't think it was the wishing sphere that tarnished. I think it was one of the HFA line pendants. And Peter, maybe you can clarify on that. Sure. Great question. So we were talking about the harmonic field amplifier mini or the HFA mini, which is designed to tarnish when it is protecting you from negativity. So Darius, you've experienced this. I've experienced yep. this, and pretty much everyone that owns one has experienced this at, at some point. The the HFA has a conscious creation behind it. Each one is different. It's very childlike, and you are, in all essence, a surrogate mother of this conscious creation behind the device. And when you receive it, it it's beautiful. It's lustrous. It's shiny. You can you know wear it around your home. If you have good energy in your home and it looks like that, you know, since the day you opened up. And as soon as you go out in the public and there are ways of negativity, it goes to work. And you can see how hard it's working for you. The darker it gets, the harder it's working for you. And here's the key to, to this particular product. The, the act of cleaning it, and I always recommend pink Himalayan sea salt and lemon juice to clean it and then a nice jewelry cloth to, uh, to kind of bring back the luster, you're showing it love. And when you show it love, it's going to work harder for you. So that was the reference in the testimonial that this woman had had a fight with her husband and it turned dark because it was instantly protecting her from her energetic field from all negativity. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Okay. I, I did have other question, more personal. I'm looking to hire people, and during this pandemic, it's been a little bit more difficult. 
And it says, I'm living in Wisconsin, and we've had our numbers up sometimes. And mm-hmm. I mean, I'm staying as positive as I can. And, I mean, people are a little bit less willing to work. And I'm just... I'm just wondering, is there, um, I mean, I've been using the mini and asking for that and wishing for that and wishing that for other people with disabilities because there's a lot of need. And um, so anyway, just wondering if there was any other direction to point that question. So you want to speed up your manifestation via the wishing for your mini, is that what you're asking? Um, yeah, I guess that's the best, that's the best way to summarize, yeah. So there's there's many levels to that go into the technology creation, the spiritual technology creation, and something that may not come into fruition in a timely manner. Um and it's it's basically a universal role, right? If 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 you're wishing for something that could possibly cause you harm unbelated to you unknowing to you your wish just won't happen so i suspect that i believe wisconsin was one of the hardest hit in the last couple of months with the number of coronaviruses i might be wrong but i'm pretty sure it was so although you're wishing for someone to come in your home and do some kind of work it's possible that it's just not in your best interest to, to allow that happen because possibly they might be infected with the virus. Mm. Mm. Yeah, a bit of a jam that way because I need people that I need. Uh, <laughs> right. So, so switch your switch your wishing over a little bit. Continue down the same line, but in that summary that you're asking for, ask for healthy workers. See what happens. Oh, okay. I like that. This is the kind of things we want to do. We want to, we want to refine your your wishing and manifestation and creation. So we've got someone a wireless looks like probably a cell phone caller from Rock Island, Illinois. They're calling from a three hundred nine area code. How can we help you in Rock Island, Illinois? Hi, this is Amanda. Thank you for hey, taking Amanda. my call. Sure. Um, my my question is similar to the woman ahead of me. Is is I have a business and. I haven't been able to get any money in, and I feel like I'm frozen in fear. It's like I won't move forward. I I keep trying to, but every time I try to accomplish something, something shuts down. So it's, you know, hardware failure, software failure, (laughs) you name it. It's, It's like all these blocks keep going in front of me, and it's like, okay, is this a sign to say just give up or fight or I I don't know. So I'd like some input on that if it's possible. So Amanda, word choice is is ground zero for you. Okay. Never use the word trying or try. And you use it two or three times. As soon as you do that, you shut everything down. Okay. Just now you shut everything down. And what you want was, is, and will always be happening in the perfection that you need it to, okay? The computer breaking down, you know, the 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 verbiage that you're using, unknowing to you, and that's fine because we're going to correct that now, um, has been shutting it down, not allowing it to happen. When you want something, you have to. You have to speak in terms of it's already come to pass or it's already happening. So what I'd like you to do in real time right now is rephrase that, okay? And it's going to be a little difficult, so think about it for a second, and I'll help you. In in terms of it's already happening and it's going to happen. And just make it really sweet and short and watch how the energy shifts. You're not going to feel stuck anymore. You're not going to feel like everything's shutting down around you. You have just shifted the energy into the positive. And when you're in the positive, you're in the light. And when you're in the light, the love flows. And when the love flows, magic happens. So go ahead, think about it for a second, and then restate that. Money is continually flowing into my business. 
How does it feel? Actually pretty good. Watch what happens in the next 72 hours. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Nice. Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to tweak, I think, some intentions here today. And, you know, think about, too, when you start feeling that, like you said, Peter, how does it, how does it, when you start saying it that way, how does it feel? And then now what, what do you do with that, right? I mean, she may have some ideas. She may feel better. She may go somewhere. She may exude that. She may vibrate at that. This is all going to affect levels and planes that many of us can't see. Uh, that go out in all directions in time space. So uh, pretty wild stuff. We're going to go to another caller. We've got somebody at a 724 area code in Aliquippa, perhaps, Pennsylvania. Who do we have in uh, Aliquippa? Aliquippia. Yes, you. Hi. Who do we have? Hi. <laughs> Sorry. What's, what's the name of the city? And who do we have? Lana? Hello. Yeah. Okay. And what was your first name? Hello. Can you hear me? I'm not sure if we got a good connection. Uh, are you there still? Going once? Going twice? All right. Not sure, guys. We've got, uh, we're going to hopefully come back to her. We've got Carly in New York City, New York. What questions? Do you have for Peter Schenk today? Go ahead and press star two. Uh, Carly, how can we help you today? Hi, thanks for taking the call. Hi. I um, so I'm teaching what I know to my kids and sharing what I come to understand. And I'm trying to make sure that I, you know, sharing these things with them so it's easier for them to instead of discover it as adults, right? Um, one thing that is a challenge is um. As they're going through appropriate developmental things of pushing back and challenging and um, anger, you know, I'm trying to put in perspective of, you know, when we when we let our energy get really um, negative or angry, you know, it has these impacts on on ourselves and on on everyone. Um, and I think I'm just not explaining it in a way that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, you are. Um, you are. You can are. you help me refer? Oh, okay. Well, thank you. Um, yeah, how would you, like, present that to uh, a kid going through that, that time of, of so, um, everything is so hard? Okay, so, <laughs> so, no, it's actually really easy. Um, and again, I know, that's like the state that a, a that couple. one of them is in right now. <laughs> He's, like, in yeah, that. So, I, so, so I'm, just, I'm just going to point out a couple things quickly, and then we'll help you understand how to rephrase it, right? Okay. So, yeah. again... The word trying and tried popped up right out of the bat. And, and, oh, look, I tried not to. You know, ah! no, there, <laughs> you did, but... <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, you know, that, that, is, that is a conscious effort, and it takes work. There's, there's no doubt yeah. about it. And I find myself doing it, too. But I get back on the horse, and I continue <laughs> on the path. The next thing was references to being angry, okay? Mm-hmm. You are creating that environment just by the, just the very act of saying it. You are fueling what has already happened. You are giving power to what has already happened, and you're bringing it in the now, rooting yourself, unable to move forward in the future, okay? So the trick yeah. in all of this, okay, is, is verbiage, and crafting that verbiage to release what was, bringing up in the moment to bring on what will be, okay? So instead of yeah. using the, you know, the the description of anger, replace it with loving and in a, in a place where you want them to be, right here, right now. It's, okay, just create the statement. As it's already oh. come to pass, as it's happening, as it will happen. So when we are loving... We are having a loving impact on ourselves in the world around us. Exactly. How does that feel? Uh, totally accurate for me. I I think. You not that you think I, you know. I want well. I want, <laughs> I know that that to be true, and I wonder if 
it is no wonder you know knowingness is everything and Does when you, you want to that? change the present and bring something beautiful mm-hmm. from the future there is no second guessing there is no okay. nothing there's only what you want and you make that beautiful and when you do it happens every single time. So rephrase so it again I'm always speaking, and command it. I'm always, I'm always speaking from a place of love, and I'm always describing that love. There you go. There you go. Cool. Got it. Light the bulb just went on big time. Watch what happens. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. Amazing. Yeah, I love this. This is uh, like a mini workshop. Now, I want to ask you something about uh, cosmic energies, because one of the things that I I really get the sense uh, with your work, and I know you for so many years now, that it's, it's about harnessing this through tools also language but it's also some understandings of 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 cosmic energy what is like one or two things that when you started designing these tools you you really started to understand about how the universe works that maybe you could pass along to us intention Mm -hmm. is the most powerful form of energy that i know of in in existence okay? okay When I work, and and let me rephrase that, when I first started to work, I was always kind of uh, a little nervous, um, a little, you know, will people love what I'm doing? Um, Am I speaking correctly? And I, I didn't have the steel resolve that I have today that when I make a statement, it's going to happen or the product's going to do exactly what it's advertised to do. I was always kind of second-guessing myself. Mm -hmm. And only through, you know, hardcore mastery of, you know, what I'm here to do did I finally kind of nip it in the butt. I've learned to never second-guess myself. I've learned... Not to use your brain because it implies logic. Don't use your heart because it implies emotion. Hmm. Use your gut. Hmm. Your gut is the safe bet every single time. And even even still, sometimes I, I, I go against what my gut says, and you know what? I lose every single time, every single time. So the intention that you put forth into anything you do in life, from loving your children, your spouse, your partner, your family, um, you you have to be rock solid in your resolve. So, you know, a, a lot of these beautiful people that we're talking today, you know, they they didn't have that that resolve to see something through in a positive way because you can't sometimes because you're so beaten down with negativity and, and and fear and bad this and bad that. But even in the worst of that storm. It's always an illusion. It's not real. It's just meant to keep you from progressing along your path. And through assert, being assertive, not cocky, but being assertive mm-hmm. in what you're saying and having the intention and the foresight to, to know what the outcome is, coming, is going to be every single time, and so it shall be. Interesting. I love that. And I, you know, getting into that distinction between head, heart, and gut, very, very key. Um, when you say feeling into the gut, th- tell me a little bit about what does that feel like for you? And everyone, it might be a little different, but what's like one sign that you are feeling something in your gut versus the head and the heart? Your ego talks to you from your gut. It's hmm. weird hmm. for me. So a long time okay. ago, my ego would dictate every decision I made when product creating and it, they were not good decisions. So I had a choice. I could go off into oblivion and not do what I was meant to do, or I could figure out a way, an ingenious way to put that ego to bed in my gut. 
And I, I just I looked at the problem, and this is this is what I was trained to do as an engineer to look at a massive, moving, complicated problem, break it down into smaller problems, solve the smaller ones, thereby solving the whole. And I said, okay, so I'm going to tell the ego I'm going to run a mile. And it's going to come back and it's going to say, ha, 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 you ain't going to do that. You can't. <laughs> I was like, okay, so where is that coming from, right? Mm. How is that happening? And you think about it. The ego only knows what I feed it. It's it's just, it's it's in a box. It's in a black room. It doesn't have any eyes. It doesn't have any feet, fingers. It doesn't know what's going on. So what I learned to do, and this is really, this is a great we could, we could have a whole show just around this one. <laughs> I love but, it, yeah. But, but what I learned was you can feed the ego, and it only knows what you feed it, and that's mm-hmm. a powerful statement. So I said, okay, let me try this again. I'm going to go run the mile. Ha, 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 ha. No, you can't. You know what, ego? You're right. I can't. I'll never be able to do it. And then you know what? You go out and you do it. You just do it. You have fed the ego what it wanted to hear. It yes. goes back to sleep, and you get out there and you crush that mile. Interesting. Wow. Same thing. Works that way from the gut. So when the ego pops up in the gut, it's a very simple trick. You just put it back to bed, put it wow. back to sleep, and then wow. you do what you want. Interesting. Wow. All right, guys and girls, that was pretty amazing. We're going to jump into a uh, process. I want to ask you, though, uh, you know, we were talking privately. Some people are, are seeing timelines bifurcate. Some people are predicting ascension. <laughs> My babysitter predicted the tribulation. What do you see coming in 2021? And then how do we empower ourselves to create what we want? So it's kind of like two questions there, Peter. What do you see coming and how so, do we empower ourselves? Yeah. So one thing I learned about the future, it's not predictable. Yeah. For many, many reasons I'm just not going to get into. So trust me on that statement. And I know this. And what I thought was years off, I truly believe is now going to start coming to a head. And COVID was the first part of it. So I've known since I woke up that there is a great awakening going to happen. There's a change that's going mm-hmm. to happen. Um, some people say we're going into the fourth and the fifth dimension. Some people say it's an ascension. Um, I've always been a proponent of there's an evolution of the species that's been underway for about 50 years. And there have been advanced teams that have been woken up, put into place, endowed with incredible knowledge and skills to build mind-blowing technology Um, to help usher in this new age of whatever. And I use myself as an example. You know, I was, I was what I was one day. The shift happened at the speed of thought (laughs) and this is what I became. Uh And I always, and I still don't know what's coming. I can, I can make an educated guess, but I don't know a hundred percent. I always thought it was 15 years off, 10 to 15 years off. My cha- my mind, my thinking has changed radically this year with watching all the social upheaval around the planet, um, you know, instituting what I would call a the largest social experiment ever done to mankind, mandating this, mandating that, it doesn't matter what it is. I believe that this was the this was the linchpin that's going to start the great change, okay? Mm. And I truly believe that next year, the next step is going to make this one look like child's play. What's coming? I don't know. I do believe that once it's all out and done, everything that we know and love is going to a whole other level. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So it sounds like what we know and love. So, so you're predicting sort of like the light, right, is going to prevail in this? The light always prevails. Okay, good. <laughs> I don't want to get those emails. <laughs> we're going to be like, wait a minute. So, so, I'll get so like 100,000 of them. <laughs> here, here's a simple way to look at it. 
This is just, this is really, really easy. Take two seconds. Okay, great. You, you have a room that's completely dark. There's no walls. There's no windows. <clears throat> it's pitch black. What mm-hmm. happens when you turn on a bright light? Lights up. The room lights up immediately. Yeah, right. And the darkness goes away. Yeah. So the darkness, <clears throat> I'm sorry, the light, can always exist without the darkness, right? So now you have a, 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 a room that's filled with white light. Can the darkness exist? Absolutely not. The darkness can never exist without the light. The light can always exist without the darkness. So, for instance, if you look at something in your past, some black mass of whatever that gives you the angst, it makes you mm-hmm. stressed out, it gets your heart going, right? It's keeping you rooted in the present because you're giving it power from the past to keep you there, unable to move forward. So based on that simple analogy, if you, you know, can muster up the courage to look at that black mass, whatever it is, dead center, and find that pinprick of light, you can draw strength very quickly from that pinprick of light, completely decimating the darkness, allowing you, freeing you in the moment, allowing you to move forward in the future. Wow. Wow. I love this. And you know what I want to say is one little flicker of light brings out the truth. So keep sharing your truth. Keep sharing what you feel. Don't let anyone censor or stop you from that. And that includes your past, who you are, where you are, what you think you're good at or not. Share what's in your heart and we bring the light to this world. That's what Peter's works about. I know mine as well. And Peter, to do that, I mean, we're moving into this wild 2021. I want to do with you this process. I'm going to be listening along and it's something you selected for us today called the DNA Awakening Activation. (laughs) Tell us what we're going to do. So science is showing us that DNA the, the, the more that they understand about DNA, the more that they're learning about everything, right? So if you're intuitive, you just kind of know what the DNA is, the telomeres, the, the junk DNA and how it works. So what I want to do today is I want to you I want to, first of all, we're going to activate everyone's DNA on a very, very deep level. And I want to use that energy that comes back to help all of you bring things into fruition. Okay. Again, this is something, this is so funny. Like I always do the first gigs of something new in my head that might come out as a product, you know, in six months on your show. Thank you. This is awesome, man. (laughs) (laughs) Love it. Yeah. So so we're going to do that. We're going to use water. We're going to activate the water. We're going to bless it. That's going to go inside. That's going to start illuminating everyone's DNA. And as you know, Mm. Cells communicate through light. The more light that moves through them, the more effective they communicate, which means a lot of beautiful things can happen in the physical body. But on the flip side to that, a lot of etherical things that you have been thinking about can be brought into manifestation even quicker. So if you were thinking about buying the wishing sphere, it might just happen. (laughs) So it's all good. Hey, all right, let's do it. Okay, so I'd like everyone to take out a glass of water. Go ahead and raise your left hand over it about three inches and spread your fingers. Mm. In a second, you're going to start to feel that energy running down through your hand into the water. Put your attention on the water and repeat these eight magical words out loud. I honor the space in which you exist. The energy is now going to increase through your hand into the water. Do 
go ahead and drink as much as you want. Notice the taste and texture and where it's moving in your body energetically. And then I just want you to get comfortable. Give that a second or two. Just allow that feeling of being completely wrapped in the womb of serenity to envelop your entire physical body. Now, in your mind's eye, bring up a black silhouette. In a second, you're going to start to see little purple pinprokes dancing around. Just moving. They'll fade in. And they'll just start to move. It'll be one. One will turn into three. Three will turn into seven. And they'll double every second. Some of you might start to see the golden ratio. Purple little pinpricks of light. You're just multiplying like crazy. As they start to increase, and fill that black silhouette, you'll see them start moving inside your physical body. Each one represents a strand of DNA inside your body. They'll start moving very, very quickly. They'll be multiplying faster than your human mind can comprehend. Just allow them to multiply and flow into your body. All the way from the tips of your toes the top of your scalp. Every fiber of DNA in your body will be matched with the perfect piece of energy, the perfect piece of purple energy. I'll say that five times really fast. <laughs> Just allow it to happen.
now, what you're probably starting to notice is if you look etherically at your body, it's starting to glow a purple hue. All of that energy is now moving into the DNA. It's allowing it to communicate with one another more effectively. Once you start to feel physically very light, then start thinking in terms of what you want. Know what you want. It's going to increase very, very rapidly now. Everything is communicating more efficiently now. Light is moving through you. Look, everyone open their eyes. Slowly. Take some deep breaths through your nose, exhaling through your mouth. Just come back. Just come back. Hmm. Slowly, glad folks. Wow, come all the way back here. <laughs> <That's> awesome, <laughs> man. That was that was intense. I I felt like I went through just a a journey, different waves of energy, and uh, I started seeing different. It's pretty interesting because I I see things in patterns, I see things in waves and and fields. And I started seeing just these different waves of potentiality and then um, being at the helm of like five different waves of future potentialities. And then what was pretty wild but makes complete sense was from where I was, I was given the choice of like which wave, which timeline field of potentiality I chose. So it was almost like going to the inception point of my own reality. So that was really, really pretty awesome. Oh, man, that was great. That was great. Um, I'm going to ask everybody, too, if you're listening in, share with us uh, what you felt. And, you know, probably for some of you, it's going to be completely different. I think this is going to take you to wherever it is that's going to move you forward, farther along, I should say, on this path. So let let us know. You all 
revolution.com forward slash now. I want to hear from y'all. What did you experience? <laughs> what came forward and uh, what did you feel? And uh, as you do that, you know, Peter, one of the things I think that's pretty amazing is, you know, when we expand our self-awareness, when we start to play with reality, like I kind of did in that process, amazing things start to happen. I mean, this is really for you. Sometimes I, I kind of feel like you think it's a little bit of a game. I mean, it's 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 a real thing, but it's also kind of a game, right? I don't know. Yes, it is. But it, it's, it's a game <laughs> yeah. of learning. It's a yeah. game of understanding. You know, um, when you can constantly change it up and go deeper for better understanding, everything gets simplified. So if, let's say 20 years ago when I had my wake-up experience, if you would have shown me you know, what just happened and me mm. being the orchestra of and the observer of what just happened, I, I would have been looking at, you know, something I didn't understand. It would have blown my mind. It would have been like, uh, you know, like a Pink Floyd laser show at the Planetarium in Manhattan. Yeah. I mean, it was, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I wouldn't have understood it. But as you progress through that game and it is a game it's a game to spread more love and light in the world and if you can do that then you're given bigger and better tools to get it done get the job done mm, yeah absolutely absolutely i want to share what a few people have been saying uh one person said this was so beautiful peaceful loving energetic and happy thank you peter uh another person wrote in with a big intention and uh wants to know what it could be uh, that is making it come in so slow. And this is, uh, this is the person, uh, I'm not sure where, Netherlands maybe, uh, Sidekey, Sidekey says, how do I find my sole purpose, Peter? Great question. Only you would, would, would know that. And, and that's a great question. So, I, I personally have changed my professional career three times mm. in my life. Mm. And each time I changed it, you know, I would think that I have found my, you know, sole purpose. Right. And, you know, I recently had plans to make a, a fourth alteration in my trajectory. COVID kind of put those plans off probably until 2022. Um, but that's going to become a very large focal point of what I do. I won't stop what I'm doing now. I'm actually going to enhance it in a very radically different way. Um, mm. But the sole purpose, there, it, it, it's kind of like, you know, um, monks, people that, or spend their whole lives, you know, searching for enlightenment, right? Um, I don't, I don't think, and I know for a fact in my reality that enlightenment is not obtainable in human form. It's rather a path that you walk and you progress every day, bettering yourself every day. You know, you're going to have drawbacks, you're going to fall off the horse, whatever, but you're continually going down that path. Your life's purpose may never be revealed. And that's a beautiful thing as well because you're constantly working for the light and achieving something that's better than you. So for me, I gave myself over in complete devotion to gain mastery in my craft. And no questions, not a blink, it was a, it was a path. And my devotion to, you know, my life's purpose at least for now, is so that if I was told to grow my hair long, grow a beard, put on Jesus slippers and a robe, and walk the American Southwest <laughs> healing people, I would do it without hesitation. Mm -hmm. That's because, but that's not my life's purpose, right? My life's purpose today is to continue doing what I'm doing and enhancing people's lives, moving them from uh, uh, you know, a life stuck in fear and confusion and, and being ungrounded and blah, blah, blah into a loving world through 
you know, product services, energetic techniques, um, you know, talking in, in, in any and all things within my power to do that. But your, your life's purpose will, will change. It, it, it has to be that way for everybody because just think about it. If you're, you know, if your life's purpose is to be, um, something and you're not finding joy in that something anymore, then you're not growing and you're not learning. And when you're not growing and learning, you're not evolving. And since we're all human and we're in the midst of a evolution of the species, you have to grow and evolve. So your life's purpose is going to change. And that doesn't mean just because you, you don't have clarity around it today, you might have it tomorrow. Or maybe you're already doing your life's purpose now. So spice it up a little bit. Get creative. You know, dare yourself to be better tomorrow at whatever you're doing than you are today. And watch how the energy shifts. And when the energy shifts, mm. you are expanding. You're growing. You're evolving. You're learning. I have mm. to learn five new things every day. And that could be as simple as, you know, not um, boiling my eggs to the point where I can't eat them or, you know, <laughs> diving down the rabbit hole at 200 miles an hour with my hair on fire to, to concoct some crazy new whatever to bring more joy to people's lives. Yeah. You know, yeah. your life's purpose is, is not a set goal. It's constantly evolving. It's a path that you're on. It's the same thing I just told you about enlightenment. It's not attainable. It's just the path. You just continue. We're all on well, the same path. Yeah. We're just, some of us are just a little further along, and it's our responsibility to stop, pause, and turn around and help others to, you know, to, to learn and grow. I love it. Yes, I agree. And uh, I want to share a few other things coming in and questions. Linda wrote in and said, My aura has always been green and recently had a violet-blue hue surrounding it and she says now the two colors during this process merge together wow thank you so <laughs> that's, that, that's cool a, it's very cool that's a big dna activation that's a big shift um all right mm -hmm. i got a few other questions coming in um one person is writing in um about actually a, a home uh she's ashley in linden washington i think she's wondering about maybe the hfa or something to clear the home but she says my question is my home it was built i I believe in 1896, lots of negativity, darkness on the property. They've been, uh, we have 11 people in the home, kids, adults, uh, tried many different techniques with short lived results. Um, one healer even said there are portals on the property. Anything you might recommend? And I'd ask you, Peter, any of the tools that might be useful if there are things like that on a property? So <clears throat> the, the, the property. There is a tool um, that I have on the website that is specifically designed to clear all negativity from your land instantly. And as long as the product is focused on on your land, nothing uh, of any lower vibration can come in that, um, that the product creates the sphere. Um, you know, if you're experiencing things within the home, there's another product for that. But for the individuals that might be experiencing it, mm -hmm. the HFA Mini is a is a masterful piece of, you know, spiritual technology, which we have on the show today, which will protect your um, your physical body's energetic field from all of that negativity. Yeah, I mean, if she's in a home with a bunch of people and it seems there's a lot going on, then this would be something that, she would want to wear perhaps to make sure she holds high frequency that or the frequencies around her sort of are purified. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So that we're going to talk about the HFAs. I got another question here. I want to get to, we've got some interesting stuff. And if you want to find out more about what Peter's doing, we've got uh, some of these available right now that it could probably get to you <laughs> before the uh, Christmas time or pretty close or definitely before the new year and you may want to look into this to get some energetic support to actually make the universe yours this is a quantum technology for prosperity and protection the palm of your hand they've been blockbusters um so take a look you wealth revolution.com forward slash peter p-e-t-e-r 20 we're going to talk more about this and actually get into the nuts and bolts of manifesting so stay with us um this is from patricia uh, she says, hey, Peter, I feel like success, health, and wealth windfalls are just slightly out of my reach. It's like I feel it and I am ready, but it's just a 
smidge away. Any any suggestions or maybe what's going on here with me, Patricia? Just out of my reach, a smidge away. You yeah. just created that for you. So it's always going to be just out of your reach or a smidge away. <clears throat> Word choice is paramount, and I can't harp on this enough. It okay. is detrimental. It is paramount to shifting your reality, folks. You know, it, it, it's it's like, you know, eating food to fuel your body. Well, you want to fuel and change your reality? Word it that way. So mm-hmm. instead of, you know, a, a smidge away or just out of my reality, how about it's coming into my reality now, has always been in my reality, yeah. and forevermore will be in my reality. That shift just from those words is so powerful that it will bring those things into your reality, typically within 72 hours or three days. I love it. And when you change that wording, it just felt so different. I I sort of tried it on. I'd invite everyone to do that as well. And wow, it's just like, okay, I already have it. What would your life be like? No, no, we don't want to try anything on. We just want to do it. (laughs) Like Mikey says, just do it. Do it. Yeah, everyone, (laughs) do it right now. Feel it, you know. Um, Absolutely. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, you got to work on my wording too. I mean, no doubt. Um, We all can get better. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Absolutely. Um, hey, I might be, I might reach, you know, a million people a day if I change my wording. So I might as well practice as well. We can all get better. That's for sure. Um, so I want to jump into some of these different uh, ways people can use some of these tools because at this page, youwealthrevolution.com forward slash Peter, if your dreams are taking longer to manifest than you'd like, or you want to move through 2021 calmer, Maybe safer. We've got stories like that. And also being able to supercharge your manifestations. Check out this package. Uh, one person shared it was like having uh, a magic lamp and being Aladdin. And the first thing you're going to see when you scroll down just a little bit is an actual video of Peter using the Sphere Mini. So you can see how to use the Wishing Sphere. Um, one of the things you say about this is you can also enhance your space. So this can be actually... Um, something that sends out energetic vibrations to clean and activate your space. We didn't really talk about that with the mini. Tell me about what it's doing when we send, when we have it out to clean and clear the space. So when it's a one, one thing I learned early on is whenever you're in the, physical influence of something that vibrates higher everything around that object is vibrating at the same level Um, non-living physical whatever's instantly vibrate energies that are in non-physical form vibrate the same thing now the body typically takes again three to four days to vibrate it to to match that vibrational level um there's a lot of things in the body that don't vibrate and they need to come out and that's through detoxing and whatnot. So when you unpack the wishing sphere, you're unpacking love, right? Mm. You're unpacking an uber high vibrational product that at the point of its release was the pinnacle of my understanding of how to simplify, how to refine, how to use mathematics and engineering and in quantum mechanics and in everything else in between to put into something that's very beautiful to look at has mind bending energy and you know will shift your reality. So when you open up the wishing sphere and you put it together, it's already clearing the space. If there's any negativity around, it gets obliterated because it cannot exist within the space that the spheres the energy is putting out and we, we've already discerned that through a very simple thought process about the black room right the light hence the vibration hence the frequency hence the octave can always exist without the lower vibes or aka the darkness but the darkness can never exist without the light right um <clears throat> so when it's unpacked and it's going you know you make wishes for others you activate it you start making wishes for others and then Wish to clear the space and watch. You know, I, 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 you know, I, I have other products that have done stuff like that in the past. And what we have found through customer testimonials and feedback have been 
you know, people that were like pack rats that had tons of stuff all over the house. Yeah. They start cleaning it the next day. They can't, it, it's like, it's like the curtains go up and they're like, oh my God, how am I living like this? And, you know, the, the, the switch flicks in their head, whatever. And they start cleaning. Why? Because everything's at a higher vibration and it's mm. out of balance and anything that's out of balance has to go. It can't exist. So what do they do? They start fixing it. Um, if you're a procrastinator, ah, what we have found yeah. is you don't procrastinate anymore. You just get stuff done. Why? Because it feels good. It feels amazing. Um, typically, people that have been in bad moods, right, for mm. whatever reasons, there's no more razor's edge. It's dull. They're pleasant. They're compliant. They talk. People that are, um, you know, extroverts, or I'm sorry, introverts become extroverts. And, and again, okay, I know this because I was led through a series of learning curves. And, and you, you always have to look between the lines to really find the brilliance and how they deliver these learning curves. So, for instance, you know, 15 years ago when we were developing Aquaware, um, we we created an intention called social lubricant, right? And, and, and the way the brilliance of how the universe would work was we were impulsed to give a flip a copy of the software to this kid in college. And what he was doing was he was charging kegs of beer with social lubricants at parties, turning everyone that was a... Uh, an introvert into an extrovert. And <laughs> if you look at the brilliance in, in, you know, between the lines of what he was doing, it was a breadcrumb for me yeah. that led to the, the deeper understanding of something else that would eventually lead to a whole nother level of technology, right? So when the wishing sphere is activated, you know, be, don't, don't be caught up in the day to day drama. Sit back and be the observer of everything you survey. Yes, yes. And notice the subtleties in your house that have changed, right? Free of judgment, free of emotion. Be the observer or just, just be and watch what happens. And the subtleties will start bubbling up. And you'll be like, oh my God. That's different. Oh, my God, that's changed. That's how these products work. Sometimes they're, you know, just they're woof. I mean, it's like instant. Other times things have to be put into place for the subtleties to start to show up. But make no mistake, folks, they always show up. Amazing. Well, one of the things I want to mention as well, you've got a few hacks that I have worked on. I've used these for different uh, goals that I had. Used this when my dad, uh, who had a very uh, severe heart attack in September, 86 years old, quadruple bypass, and um, by the grace of God, great doctors, great help, great intervention, great prayer. And also my intention, you know, in this sphere that I put out there, too, I will use everything at my disposal, cosmic, quantum, uh, and in the physical to make my desires come true. And one of my desires was he stays around as long as his life plan allows it. And uh, I did something a little different. I wrote down an intention and I put it on a piece of paper and I stuck it under the sphere. And uh, that's one of my hacks. I know you've got a few others, like putting a fingernail or hair or uh, an image. Tell me about some of these things. Maybe they, I know you love people to experiment, but what have you seen people do where they uh, start kind of getting creative like I did? So, and that's a great question, by the way. So, <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> it, you know, it, 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 it's, always, it's always interesting when a, when a product goes out into the world. It's like, um, yeah. it's like a birth cry that kind of rumbles through you know, the, the halls of where it was created. And it's, it's always a, 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 a unlimited toolbox, right? So I create an unlimited toolbox in, in whatever capacity, whatever form it shows up in uh, and goes out into the world. And I always give people a very, very simple 
instruction set on how to utilize that particular toolbox, in this mm-hmm. case, the Wishing Sphere Mini. And what I always love is when people share their experience, their passion, their love of something that shifted, but more importantly, to your point, on how they did that, right? So in the advent of the Wishing Sphere line of products, you know, the first one that came back was Make Wishes for Others. So we instantly integrated that right. once we had validity around it into the instruction set and the manual and how it would work. Um, other things that have been happening is placement of the wishing sphere. And what we have noticed is that when people place the wishing sphere around um, other high vibrational products uh-huh. in their home, things work faster. Or if they don't have other high, vib- high vibrational products, <clears throat> they put it into an area of their home where they perceive to have amazing energy, okay? Um, or if you, you know, and, and there is no, and I can't stress this enough, there is no right way, there is no wrong way. Right, There's only right. the perfect way. If, if if your home doesn't have that great energy, well, take it out in nature with you. I mean, it's portable. It's a mm, mini. Very yeah. small. And, yeah. you know, go sit by the, 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 the water. So, you know, these are ideas that transcend the original thinking of the product. This is uh, from people that have used the product, had great results, and, and they write back in and they're like, this is what I did, and oh my God, it worked. And that, that is what drives me to, you know, push further and harder and faster to create more mind-bending products that do it. And I love sharing these things with people, but at at the end of the day, it's it's up to you on how to best utilize a product. If 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 one you know it's not one size fits all. What works for me might not work for you. It's it's you know it's communicating with the product, the conscious creation behind it. Hey man, how can you work harder for me? And what you start to feel is waves of vibration that come back that quickly turn to human language. You are the surrogate mother. This is a tool to help change your life. Yeah. It's a tool to bring beautiful things into your life. It is a tool to shift the energy around you, around others. It ultimately, you know, the, unlimit your thinking, thereby unlimiting your potential. That's what we're here to do. That's how we evolve and grow. Yeah, and birth a, a new planet, new earth, right? And this is, uh, Shanti says, she's in Paris, she says, I want to be free financially, I want to find joy, um, and she's, you know, imagining herself, laughing, smiling, and all of those good things. Well, you know what? I would say put it into the wishing sphere, direct it into that, or imagine you've got something you really want to create. Now, use that intention in a unique way. Maybe you're going to write it on a piece of paper. Maybe you're going to bless the sphere every day or ask it to bless you. Uh, Maybe you're just going to hold that space while you put your hands over the sphere, charging your hands, charging your whole body, your auric field with that intention, and then say, I am thankful it is here now. Uh, Like Peter says, there's no limit to how to use this. So check it out. It's at youwealthrevolution.com forward slash Peter 20, P-E-T-E-R 20. And I do want to share this. I mean, the mini is really cool because it is portable and it is discounted as well. You are going to get on this page while supplies last. There's a mini wishing sphere, a 60-minute live group activation call, and also something really neat I want to talk about, a chakra bonus series one, two, and three that people are going to get. And this... uh activation call is going to be taking place on January 11th. So if you're ready to shift into the new year and maybe you're wondering, gosh, am I going to still feel like it's possible for me after that first week of January? Because you know how it is. Everybody's like, oh, it's going to be great. And then after a while, you settle into the routine. Never fear. You're going to have your wishing sphere. You're going to have this call <laughs> to get started, right? And and make sure it's done right. And you're going to you're going to have some of your own techniques to make sure you energetically craft your reality using this tool. And Peter, what are you going to be doing on this call? Because uh, I know a lot of people are going to be very curious about that. 
You know, I just want to make a comment. You're <laughs> brilliant, and it just slips out. Never fear. You have your wishing sphere. <laughs> there you go. Did I say that or did? Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I think I did, didn't I? I'm telling you. So on on the activation wrong. call, um, we're going to be going over. It, and it, it it can be used for um, any one of the wishing spheres. By the way, the knowledge is all the same. Um, we'll be going over um, tips and tricks that probably have not been shared in public. And and again, these things are always coming to light. And we're still you know three weeks away, so there's probably going to be a ton of new knowledge to be shared in yeah. that call. Um, I will be activating personally on a group level everyone's wishing sphere. And typically oh, when I activate a product, it goes to a whole nother level. Um, we're going to be, you know, talking about the intricacies of the different components that make it up, how they work, um, you know, how the energy flows. So it, it's going to be a lot of, it's really going to be a hands-on knowledge um, activation and um, knowledge sharing between participants and, you know, what works best for them. And, um, yeah, we'll get a lot of uh, users um, on the call and see what's working and, and how we can tweak um, maybe some things that aren't working so well for them. Yeah, I love this. Well, that is going to be happening in early January, so check it out. com for slash Peter20. We've got some big discounts as well. You're going to get the live call plus your own mini wishing sphere for 197 but there's something else because this normally would be a $1,090 value. It's just 197 but you're also going to get three big workshops, and these are literally around about two hours each or so. The third one is a little shorter, but these are all about chakra clearing workshops. So if you don't want to be carrying any of that energy into the new year, Peter, how do we use this workshop one, two, and three? So each workshop builds upon tips and tricks of the predecessor. And it's imperative that you go in order. If you start with number three um, or even number two, it will probably overwhelm you. So in these workshops, we, we learn how to clean the chakras. We learn how to um, keep them running and what, you know, uh, uh, there's a lot of um, buzz out there about, you know, what the chakras are and what they do. But when you when you kind of cut through the chase, the, the seven physical chakras in the body, from the head all the way down to the base, <coughs> um, are, you know, energy portals that allow energy to come in and leave. And when the chakras are clogged, it's like not changing the oil in your car for, you know, a really long time. You're, you're just not running on all those cylinders. And depending on, you know, your knowledge and what you read, the chakras, um, they host, um, you know, different types of body functions, right? In, inside the body, they're um, responsible for different organs, keeping them in peak performance. So, it's really, really, really important that your chakras are vibrant, they're open, and they're breathing, you know, energy in and out. Again, it's that in and the out breath, right? Receiving, giving, giving, receiving. Yeah. Uh, it's the in and the out breath. It's very important that they're in alignment. <clears throat> and I have been delivering different products and services around the chakras for a couple decades now. So the three workshops, they build upon each other, and they're all geared around how to maximize uh, keeping your chakras in balance. And then, you know, again, when your body, mind, and spirit are in alignment, beautiful things are happening. What you said. Hmm. <laughs> that was my, my iWatch giving me some oh, okay. sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> no worries, yeah. They, the iWatch can't understand any of this. Uh, <laughs> we're on another level. Um, Siri had a comment she had to make. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Siri, you, you won't get it. Um, you know, one of the things I want to say about this is, I mean, you know you know me, I'm all about the, the spiritual technology, but I do think um, the thing I love about this is uh, people are going to be clearing out some of those chakra energies and move forward. So that's that's the good part. So if you want to go deeper into that, that's package A, but we've got a lot more because a lot of people I've been very surprised have been doing kind of like, I call it the monster package. And the reason is that it's kind of like everything in one or at least just about everything in one. And I want to make a jump real quick because option three, people are going to get the Wishing Sphere Mini and they get the, the HFA series, 
which I want to introduce a little bit because we don't always talk about that this much, at least we haven't this season, but they get the Mini version 2, the Orion, and the Sirius. Now, we've got a lot of big cosmic events happening, including this Saturn-Jupiter conjunction when they form sort of like one planetary thing, and a lot of these energies I really feel are going to be very aligned to something like the Sirius and the Orion and accentuating these portals. What do the HFA, Orion, and Sirius do? So, first of all, all three of the products are made from pure copper and silver um, that's commercially available. <clears throat> copper in all of the products attracts the negativity, and the silver creates and stabilizes the field. So we started off with the HFA Mini, which is a, a tried-and-true product, and in its second generation, we made it smaller. We added more silver for a much larger field. It's lighter, and it's way more powerful than the original was. The HFA Orion comes in a vastly different form. It has a nano coating of anti-tarnish on there, so it will not tarnish. Mm. And it has a, you know, it's in a, it's a it's shaped like a triangle. It has a spiral that goes all the way through it and a counterclockwise spiral on the other side. Again, you're looking at very, very advanced technology, spiritual technology, that is designed to bring your best affirmations into fruition automatically. Okay, mm. It works on a different level than manifesting. It works on the subconscious level. Okay, So, for instance, if um, hundreds of times a day we have synchronicities, we have deja vus, Blips in the matrix, whatever you want to call it. Yep. And those are unconscious manifestation. They're things that just drift through our conscious mind and we don't give it a second thought. But then 30 seconds later, it happens and you make the connection. Okay. <clears throat> a lot of those are, most of those are positive. And that's where Orion really accelerates and helps bring a lot of those things into fruition, your affirmations. And so after about a year of Orion being out, we started the school of thought, okay, well, we we need to bring Sirius into fruition. Huh. Uh, we need to create the counter, the counterweight to Orion. So what's it going to be? So Orion, I'm uh, sorry, uh, Sirius was born... It, it, it's a, it's a it's a, it's an absolutely drop dead beautiful product, and when you the, the pictures don't do it justice. Okay, so again, it's made from pure copper and silver. It has that spiral going through the center, <clears throat> and there are eight gemstones that are lab grown that go all the way around it, and each one um, represents a certain mantra okay so for instance there there might be rose quartz um carnelius lapis mm. lazuli and what we've done is <clears throat> because again we, we we went through the work of creating the i am pyramids and the i am bracelets and we refine the mantras to the point of perfection on them we were then given access to create series based on the learning curve that we went through to, to polish those products and get them into the world. So the idea behind Sirius is truly to dare yourself to be better tomorrow than you are today. And you do that by holding it in your hand and reciting, uh, as you move your thumb over each one of the stones, you recite the mantra to it. And you are bringing the best portions of whatever the particular stone represents into fruition. And automatically, even um, beyond what you're, you're saying in your conscious mind, is already happening tomorrow. So you're already making yourself, you're daring yourself to be a better person tomorrow. You feel amazing when you hold Sirius in your hand. <clears throat> and when you go to bed, right, your, your dreams will reflect your mood. So you're going mm -hmm. to bed in a better mood. So you have beautiful dreams. And when you get up in the morning, you're having beautiful thoughts when you awake because 
on that subconscious level, again, you're daring yourself to be better tomorrow. And what happens when you have good thoughts when soon as you get out of bed? Your environment is mimicking what you put out. So everybody around you is going to be in a beautiful mood. Good things are going to happen to you because you are pushing yourself outside your comfort zone. And remember, folks, this is really, really important. Your consciousness exists within the confines of a box. And yep. when you get stressed out, you build the walls a little thicker and the ceiling a little higher. But just outside your comfort zone is where the magic happens. And when you have the, the, the foresight to step outside for the first time, you have the whole backing of the universe that swoops in to help you. But taking that first step is the hardest, and that's where Sirius really accelerates everything. It is pushing you so far out of your comfort zone. So, for instance, there have been reports that people that just are negative all the time or don't like to smile in public, all of a sudden they're positive <laughs> and they're smiling. Oh, wow. <laughs> Where's it coming wow. from? It's the power of Sirius. You know, Orion and Sirius have been in mythology. They've been in the Egyptians. I mean, they've been in all the cultures, all you know, all the way back to um, the beginning of, you know, when we first started to study the skies. And they had very, very significant meanings. And again, all of these products represent past, present, and future. Past being the ancient knowledge of Sirius, of Orion, of the HFA Mini, of, of the Wishing Sphere, all put together with state-of-the-art metallurgy and fabrication processes in a futuristic design. Very cool. And I'll share real quick, if you're wondering, uh, Package A is the one that has the Wishing Sphere Mini. Uh, Package B lets you get a Wishing Sphere Mini, but then you can choose... Uh, either the HFA Mini version 2, which is the pendant you wear, or the Orion or the Sirius. And, you know, l read up on each one of them. Uh, the one thing I really like about the Sirius, though, is it has this um, way of helping to clear the conscious and subconscious. So actually getting that out of your vortex of creation so you're really not as uh, ground down by some of those things maybe that have held you back. And, you know, if you start really looking into what creates a good part of your life it's that uh subconscious energy so if you want help with that check out the serious and uh option three is kind of like the super transformation bundle where you're going to get all of it um plus you get a 15 minute mini one-on-one -on -one chakra core session with you peter shank so that's pretty rare and uh what do you do on that session because i know there's gonna be a good number of people that want to do option three and just get everything and make 2021 uh, pretty amazing, protected, safe, <laughs> full of manifestations and wishes coming true. So the chakra cores are a very cool technology. So again, <clears throat> as you show due diligence to the universe, you are given access to deeper levels of technology, deeper levels of understanding, ancient ancient knowledge, right? So for... Many, many years I did sessions with people, and those came in whatever form. And then in late 2017, I was given access to people's cores, which is the center of your being. It's your consciousness. It's your soul. And, <clears throat> you know, um, from that level of access, because I had spent years doing the good work and, you know, moving people and proving myself, um, I was given access at that level and that level spawned a whole another generation of energetic sessions one being the um core clan i'm sorry the uh, chakra core cleaning and you know um so i've done i've been doing chakra core cleanings for a long time and every time a new product or service will come out they the technology gets more refined the cleanings get better the chakra core is the pinnacle. So what we do is we spin your core. Once that starts spinning, it creates a massive energetic field that starts <clears throat> pushing out. And there's as the core reaches certain speeds, there are carrier waves that come out. Okay, Each carrier wave plugs into a chakra, starting with the crown all the way down to the base. Mm -hmm. And we start pulling all the good and the bad energy out of your chakra. 
And then once they are clean, we simultaneously start filling them back up with beautiful source energy. Wow. Which makes the person feel like they just had you know, the best massage, best facial ever um, in their <laughs> life. And that's, that's not something that fades after an hour. I mean, it, it lasts for weeks. You feel amazing. Wow. Well, that is going to be a 15-minute experience with uh, Peter as well. If you want to go to that, take a look at the the mega package there. And uh, you're also uh, going to get everything that we have on the page, uh, which is pretty awesome, plus the chakra workshops and everything else going on that's going to be live. Now, I want to say one other thing real quick for people that want to jump in on this. I know these are going to be part of our Christmas special. So, they're going to go quick. Uh, supplies are going to probably run out. If you want to grab one and just make sure it gets to you safely, it reaches you wherever you are in the world, no matter what sort of wild disruptionist, t- disruption-y type of things could happen between now and the new year, just get your hands on them and you know be safe in your place and uh, enjoy the frequency of a beautiful 2021. And uh, Peter, I want to get to a few quick comments, questions, and thoughts. I know people are writing. A lot of hands are up. Um, all right, so one person, uh, Sharissa, wrote in in Potter Valley. She said, oh, my gosh, I had a clearing from Peter. It was absolutely surreal, very powerful. I'm wondering about the live group activation call. She says, if I choose the payment option, how does that work? Um, will I actually um, be able to get uh, – well, she's wondering about activating it. First of all, I think you will be able to get on the activation call whether or not the payment is complete. Um, and whether you're going to get the mini in, I guess the question would be, I guess you ship after, of course, the payments are done. That's how we do it. So it would just depend, I assume, on uh, when that last payment is done, right, Peter? It would, yeah. But here, here's the trick. Um, <clears throat> you can still attend the call even okay. if you don't have your wishing sphere. It's actually very important that you do attend the call. Um, because you're always connected with it. Even if it hasn't physically showed up, you can start using it. Wow. So it's, wow. it's important that you are on the call. Okay. Yeah, so be on it. And uh, if it's designed for you and it's coming for you, then, then you know, no, it is, it is yours. It is on its way. It exists in reality and it is coming to you. So act as if uh, when you're on that call. Catherine is in Colorado Springs. Uh, She says, our home feels good, but I also work in a senior living community under severe restrictions due to the current circumstances highlighted by an active quote unquote breakout. Many of the residents are depressed. The staff is exhausted. Families worried. I actually carry my serious pendant with me and my wishing sphere I ordered last week. Any suggestions on using this amazing device to even further help the community? There's a lot of things that come to mind. The mm. first would be to shift the energy in the community. Yep. <clears throat> and there's a beautiful way you can do that by charging the humidity bubble that surrounds the community. So everyone's breathing in water. So what I would do is I would wish for, you know, something along the lines of, uh, calm, peaceful, you know, think of the holidays when you're making the wish. And the intention, okay, remember, intentions are the most powerful form of energy in existence. And the intention is that when people are breathing inside the community, they're, they're breathing in the water vapors from the bubble that you've created, the energetic bubble, with the intention of feeling calm, the holidays, everything is going to be okay. That would be a great way to use the wishing sphere in that community. Fantastic. And, yeah, you want to be on this call because Peter's going to help you do this and and make sure that you have an amazing start to 2021. And, and Peter, I I want to thank you for staying a little long. What is your uh, intention for, I guess, everyone here in 2021? And then maybe we'll get into your intention for the world. My intention truly for everyone that's listening on the live call or the recording is to really focus on your verbiage, how Mm. you are speaking to the effects, the perceived uh, effects of something that is not going your way. You can, you know, it, only in the experience you truly learn how to shift. And what that statement means is 
<clears throat> you have to unlearn everything you have ever learned for the real learning to flow, okay? And the only way you can do that is in an experience, okay? And I'm giving you the information, priceless information, that will put you in the experience to have a paradigm shift in your life no matter what the perceived things are. And that is the verbiage. Go and have a conversation with yourself in the mirror. I am trying to do this because I'm stuck in this and, uh, you know, things have never gone my way and they're not going my way. Mm. Okay. That's how you, that's how you remain stuck. That's how you remain in your comfort zone. That's how things just will never go your way. Rework that in your head, on the fly, in the moment. Open yourself up to love, to the infinite, to the universe. Have the experience, have the foresight to change your verbiage. I refuse to be stuck in my current situation. I am already moving forward to the things that I desire, blah, blah, blah. However you want to word it. But word it in the moment like it's already happening and will happen. And watch how it shifts your life. And you can only realize that in the experience. Mm-hmm. Okay? You can't, I can't, I can't explain it. I can give you the basics, and these are the basics of how to do it. But when you do it, you're creating real change in your life and for your loved ones and for everyone around you. And when you vibrate higher, guess what, folks? Everything vibrates higher. That's how you change. That's how you grow. That's how you learn. Mm-hmm. That's how I love you learn. That. And it starts with the basics. Don't be angry at your situation. That's fear. Fear keeps you stuck. Change it. Create change. That's what we're here to do. You need to evolve. Verbiage is ground zero, man, for changing. And when you change, you vibrate. When you vibrate, beautiful things come into your life. Yes. Yes. Wow. All right. Very awesome. And I am super excited about, Peter, everything you're doing and uh, what's available for folks and this intention for all of us to move into a beautiful new year and a free and higher dimensional new year as well. Peter, thanks for being here, man. This was this was awesome. A lot of good pieces and juicy nuggets. I think a lot of great instructions to move into 2021. So thank you, my brother. Thank you, sir. All right. That is Peter Shank. Love this guy. Love how he thinks and love how he actually constructs reality. Because one of the things I get out of this every time I talk to Peter is to construct your reality. Even I get a little sloppy with, you know, the words and things like that. And the truth is, you know, we are architecting our reality every moment through what we think, our intentions, through how we are interfacing with this holographic matrix, if you will. And we have a choice and let these tools, let this call start to make you maybe just pay attention to the choice. What are you choosing? What are you demanding? What are you creating into being? And is it what you really want in 2021? And I honestly pray in my heart of hearts that you receive everything you truly desire in 2021, everything that serves you in the highest level, everything that allows you to grow and receive everything that you truly are and everything that is your birthright to receive. That's always my blessing. I use these tools as well. Uh, I have got literally just a high voltage energetics field all around me because of Peter's tools, and uh, they're just simply amazing. So you don't have to go at this alone. No, we love you. No, we care about you. And no, we are working to commit the evolution of consciousness to be the primary dominant way that humanity moves forward from now into the end of time. So that is our big mission here at UL's Revolution. Thanks for letting us do it. If you want to go deeper, check it out. It supports Peter's work, keeps our show on the air, and we've got specials you'll only find here, plus some allocated units. So grab them while they are available and make sure go soon because uh, with all the potential shipping delays and all of the rush of the holidays, you don't want to miss out on yours. And I will make note too, Peter personally lays his hands on these and makes sure that they are activated and put together in a way that is up to his specifications as well. So he is the last person that touches these when they go into the box. 
And that means there's a lot of good intention and energy there as well. Take care, everyone. Thanks for being here, and thanks always for being in my life. Much love. We'll see you in the next session. Bye, everyone.